In today's video, we will delve deeply into exploring dependencies. You are also watching this video and I hope your issue will be resolved after watching it. In this video, so one method was mentioned by one of my viewers. They searched for almost a month and finally resolved it with this step. This step is mentioned somewhere in the video, so watch it till the end. So step number one, firstly, let's look at firewall setting. Firewall settings are the one that filtered your internet, both incoming and outgoing packets. So let's try to solve it. First of all, you can go from Windows, just search about the firewall or just click on the left side on the Windows security. And then when it's pop up, just go into the firewall and network pro protections. And then here you can see public network. The first option option you can try here just disabling the Microsoft Defender firewall and then try to download if it's not downloading or launching it properly. But if you are stuck on dependency error, then in case don't go over there, just go back and then let's try to solve it from its root. Now here you can see firewall advanced settings. Once you open this advanced settings, you will see here two rules the inbound rules the outbound rules now what we are going to do here we will add here the valorant and here you can see we have right client and right client two files now you need to add these files over here just double tab on it and let's see where actually these files are so these files are in c drive you can see this program then write games then write client and then write client service start exe so you need to add this file and again when we go over here you can see again it's added over here so you need to add these files twice once you add these files the one is udp and the other one is tcp you can see here now i'll show you how you can do this just click here on the new rule once you go over here just select here the program and then click on next now click on browse uh, it's okay just go into the c drive right games right clients and you need to add this file now at the first time you need to select your program and then click on next and then simply you need to click on the allow the connection and then click on next check these three options again click on next now here you can just put any name uh, as you can see here by default it's a uh, right client but we are gonna add here the following so just do the same as it before once you add the valorant now let's go into the valorant find it over here here it is or valorant now as you can see right now the uh, pro protocol is any so we need to double tab on it and then go into the protocol and then you can go here tcp and hit apply and once again when you add this file that time you need to select the udp and hit apply this is how actually it's worked that's it only you need to add these files twice over here and that's it your problem is fixed from here now the next step what we can do here the step number two let's uh, also look at downloading settings in step two so there there's are no issue with downloading what we are gonna do here first of all click on the windows icon search here for internet options and uh, just open it once you go over there make sure delete all these history and hit apply after doing this now go into the settings and just check this option never so it will never never store the history and then hit ok now go into the security and uh, if you change here anything just make sure reset it if you don't know about this then we can simply go here and restore everything and hit apply and uh, in the connection make sure go into the LAN and select here the automatic detect setting instead of these options and then hit ok and if there's any local dial up make sure to delete that and save it now this uh, another method in this just uh, go here into the settings once you go into the settings network and internet and here you can see the change adopter options and then internet network and then go into the properties now go ahead into the TCP IPv4, go into the properties and make sure select here the obtain DNS server address automatically. Sometimes you change the DNS for better performance. Definitely it works and at sometimes, but sometimes if your DNS glitch or bug 
in that case you cannot reset it automatically so what you can do here just remove these and then done and one more thing we are gonna apply here just uh, type cmd and run as administratorly now apply here the ipconfig slash renew uh, release after applying this command you can see my internet is not working now again ipconfig slash renew now my internet is working fine now once again ipconfig slash flush dns this is the command you need to apply after this yeah this command and then hit enter it will flush your older dns cache and bugs etc and then again just restart your router and also restart your pc you need to perform these both actions at the same time i mean after this command but i'm gonna show you step by step so just follow this video step by step ipconfig slash register dns and hit enter once it's run just exit now you need to restart your pc but before restarting now let's move on the step number four that is more important first apply that step and then restart your pc step four now in this method we are gonna uninstall the uh, vanguard if it's appearing here just right click over here and go into the op more and then uninstall vanguard but a lot of pupils don't have the vanguard so don't worry about this if you don't have just found the vanguard folder in c drive somewhere so if you are getting that just delete it now we are going into the c drive first of all we are going into the program files and find here the riot vanguard and delete this right click on it and delete it and if it's not del deleting just restart your pc and then try to delete it it will work you need to delete it in any situation first after deleting this go into the c drive then go into the users then austin and then here you need to go again into the app data now if a lot of people just can't paste this like vertical slash what you can do here windows plus r percentage local app data and then again percentage and hit enter that's it now once you over there now you need to find here the valorant and just read this folder just like this and after deleting this folder make sure find here the right client our games and in which you can see there's a few things just delete this folder it's important all right i'm not gonna delete it even it's not going to delete because uh, the vanguard is running in the background and also you need to restart your pc first once and then you can perform this section but anyways and also search for vanguard if it's available over here just check and these three folders might be the vanguard is available or right client related file so you need to delete that if it's not available then that's fine simply you need to destroy your pc and your problem should be fixed 100 percent and after that after the restarting just launch your right client and your problem should be fixed 100 percent now step number five that is more important this method is the one of my viewer mentioned in the comment and i'm happy that they applied it and their problem was resolved resetting windows will not result in data loss except for a few things be careful with your videos data images documents etc what i'm gonna uh, show you over here before restarting make sure everything is uh, in a secure drive like um, don't leave anything on desktop copy it you can paste it in c drive even somewhere or d drive or anywhere but don't leave it on your desktop it's important and after covering all these things what you can do here just click on the windows icon then go into the settings update and security and on the left side you can see here the recovery option and make sure to reset your pc from here now here there there's only two options keep my files remove apps and settings but keep your personal files and the other one remove everything remove all of your personal files apps and data so we are now gonna delete our personal files you can go with this option remove apps and settings but by following this method might be your epic launcher will be deleted not the all file like client files still exist in your pc but only the launcher will be deleted so steam launcher 
our right client these are might be but might be after resetting you can lose these launchers so you need to download for it for these now after applying these method your problem 100% solved last but not least make sure to turn on uefi which is gpt uh, for gpt make sure to turn on uefi from bios and check if your pc support tpm make sure to turn it on but in case if your pc is not supporting uefi and tpm just install the windows in mbr and if it is then there's uh, another video on the left side just go check it out and your problem will be fixed 100 if you like this video please like and subscribe feel free to ask any question in the comment section or you can also suggest me the topics have a good day bye bye